Hello and welcome to the seventh installment of my 1860 Munich career mode on FIFA 13. Um, coming up on to early November, we had a game against Dinamo Dresden. Um, they are sitting right around us in the table. Um, this is a home game. I'm um, getting ready for this game. We've been drawing a lot lately, and um, something that I want to change. We haven't really there, gotten everybody. beat too got bad by anybody, but we me. haven't been decisively beating today. teams Alice like I think we should me. be. Uh, not that we should be. I would just prefer that. Um, I don't think our team is that much better, um, especially with Bakar not in the lineup. He's still Alice hurt. Smith. Well, it's not been a disaster, um, so, was hoping the these next few games to start getting some wins. Um, here's the table right here. We haven't played our game yet, but we are in sixth. Um, St. Pauli and Kaiser Slaughter right, right above us. Duisburg tied with those two teams as well. Um, for third place, they're all separated by goal differential. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm playing the ball around here. Um, we had an opportunity early on here. Here's Lucas Piazzone on the right foot. It's shot right at their goalkeeper. Um, parries it away well, handles it. Um, nothing too hard for their keeper there. And this was stupid. Kirley makes the save. Pote shoots it right off Marvell win and into the goal. 25th minute. It should have been an own goal for win. Um, I don't know why they didn't give it to him. Sometimes FIFA does that. You'll shoot it right off of somebody, whether it hits him in the head or hits him wherever. Um, win clearly got to it, clearly put it in the net. It probably wouldn't have gone in otherwise, but how far with an attempt there? He's not much of a finisher. Um, pretty good on free kicks, but not so much just on goal. And Stoppelkamp pulls us back level. Here, just 10 minutes later, um, his first goal. He's a really good player on this 1860 unit team. Very, very good stamina, high uh, attacking and defensive work rate. So he's a good player to play in the central midfield, which is what I do with him. Um, I wouldn't play him as a winger. I don't think he's good enough to just play defense, or he'd probably be pretty good as a right back. Um, but definitely not a guy that I would want to play as you know an attack-minded player. Um, I have good fullbacks, so it's probably not something I'll try. I like him in the midfield. Um, and Dresden called for offsides here. Um, but yeah, back to that goal that Wynn put in. Um, they didn't count it as an own goal, which I thought was strange. It looked pretty obvious that Wynn knocked it into the goal himself, but... Um, whatever. Um, it's a lot less embarrassing that way when they score it like this. Excuse me, keep... I don't know, but... Uh, Meyer missing there, but yeah, I don't know why they didn't give it to, uh, give it as an own goal for Marvel win. He almost put it in a little while ago when he headed it back to Kirley. Um, Kirley making a save here. Um, we had a corner kick in the 77th minute. I noticed it's still tied. Um, couldn't really get on the end of that one. We, I don't think we scored um, up to this point in the season where we had scored off headers. Um, don't know why. We don't really have any aerial threats, I don't think. Um, you know, being a say. He's an okay, okay in the air. Louth wow, is a little taller as well. Um, then in the 90th minute, we were trying to just be cautious, make the right pass, and... Very nice tackle there by the Dino and Dresden player. They would play it out of the back, and that would be full time. So, look at this. Marvel win the player of the game for us, and he was basically the reason why we lost. He scored on his own team. But, whatever. Um, the next game, this time this was an away fixture, playing Union Berlin. Um, I believe they were, they were about mid-table when we played them in this game. Um, definitely, but it was um, an away fixture. We've been kind of, uh, not kind of, we've been really inconsistent away from home. I don't know why. Um, I still attribute it to Bakar not being there. I mean, the team feels so much more effective when he's in the lineup as opposed to out of the lineup. Um, Meanwhile, Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I really like playing place. with him. He's, his and weak foot feels a little bit better than um, three stars where it's actually rated. Um, he's fast. He can cross. Just a good overall player. And 
Pete's own here. This, you know, a lot of people would say, "Oh, Pete's own is being stupid." Well, I'm controlling Pete's own. It was me being stupid. Um, and just some bad defending. They end up scoring a very nice finish here. Um, it looks like a nice finish here. Very early fifth minute. Um, um, I'm not sure if the replay stayed in here. I believe it did. Um, we'll show it right here. Um, guy got by Volts. Very nice ball inside. And it actually took a deflection off Kirley, I believe. Um, it's just like every game, it seems like. We get scored on first, whether we win or whether we whether we draw or whatever. No matter how it ends, it normally starts with us coming out of the gate really slow. I don't know why. Um, 34th minute, how far on a corner. Um, Lauf gets on the end of that cross well. Ended up heading it straight to the goalkeeper's midsection there, so that's not going to trouble him. Um, then another attack by Union Berlin here. Terode to Parenson. Passed and get all the way through. Schindler snuffs it out. Schindler, very good center back. Really like him. I'm really starting to like him. He's young. He's going to be good for this team. Um, hopefully I can find another young center back not named Kerbrot. I really, really am not big on that guy. Somebody who's a little taller. Um, but whatever. We're still down one nothing at halftime. Um, they get an opportunity here. Tarode. Tarod, Tarode. Um, it's... Uh, crossed into the box, j bounces around, um, comes out and then cross back and Kirley gets his hands on it. There's Volts, Meyer playing it out of the back. Um, decided to make some subs. Here Barofka and Abini stay on for Meyer and Louth. I didn't let that stay up for long enough to read. Uh -huh. make a anyway, Just how far to, uh, crosses in here, uh, headed right at Kirley. Kirley probably should have caught it, and oh, Makos stopping it another time. opportunity here after the rebound. Um, very nicely done. Pressure. Another player that I really like. Um, he's a defensive really midfielder, but he has attacking. scored, I think, three Builder. goals already this year. Abini say trying to finish here as a substitute. Their goalkeeper knocks it out of play for a corner kick. And I switch here to how far. And this was one, probably one of our last opportunities. I was thinking at this point, 82nd minute, down by one. And would you look at that? Um, I was just saying that we weren't that good in the air. And Abini Assay scores a header. Very nicely done. The stats haven't gone up at all. I don't know why because he's played very, very well. Um, I didn't think he would be as good as he was. Um, after I signed him, I wasn't too thrilled right away, but then he really started being effective. I like him a lot better as a substitute, as a super sub, coming on and, you know, coming on against maybe a defense that's a little more worn out, um, and just being a fast player. And then in stoppage time, he its own gets fouled right here, and this was an opportunity here. This, these last few minutes were absolutely crazy. Um, like a roller coaster. I thought about taking a shot, but I figured it was probably a little more sensible to play this one into the area, and that's what I did. And Christopher Schindler, a beautiful header in the 90th minute. I went crazy at this point. I thought that this was it. I mean, I was pretty much thinking, okay, it, it's over now. There's, there's nothing that can go wrong. Um, uh, there is a reason why I said it's not over, though. Um, Looks like we got a winner here. Man, what a beautiful header. I and mean, he's a center back too. It's crossed in. I don't know why it zoomed in so funny, but very and nice. Um, and like I said, EA, this game, they it's never done that that I remember. I don't I can't remember if twelve did it. I didn't play twelve a lot. After the 90th That's minute, and for some reason, now, it switched comes. to Volts right, right, right as the cross was happening, and Volts just stopped running. And then Terode scores and makes it 2-2. And this is pretty much how it ended. Um, this is the end of the seventh episode. I pretty much, when I was recording this, I just said, I, I can't deal with this anymore. I mean, it was driving me nuts. Um, a game that we really should have won. We deserved the 2-1 win, but... Um, combined with some bad defending and goofy kind of auto-switching um, from the game, but it is what it is. Oh well. Um, so that's it for this episode. If you like the likes, comment, subscribe, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.
Union Berlin 2, 1860 Munich.